Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at this little Dell Inspiron desktop microcomputer. Computers have come a long way. This is sort of a NUC form factor. Pretty small little guy, but um, we need to find out if it's worth spending your money for, whether it's a good value for the price, and also how upgradable is these little guys? Because you know sometimes you'll buy these these very small form factors, and there's just nowhere to go with them. You're stuck with whatever is in there. This video is going to be two parts. So basically, I'm going to um, giving you a show and tell on this machine and then the second half or the tail end of this video I am going to upgrade this machine both memory and hard drive now I got this system for $150 at Best Buy because it was on sale and I can almost guarantee you it's gonna go on sale again but right now on Best Buy it's $199 I provided a link also on Amazon it's $169.99 now the Best Buy um, comes in a large box. I'll go ahead and show you the unboxing while we're talking here. And it came with both a keyboard and mouse. So, and, and it's the wireless edition. So it's pretty cool. You get desktop, uh, microcomputer, the mouse, the keyboard, the little dongle you plug in the back, and even the batteries for um, $199.99. .99. But uh, I had gotten it for 149 It was on sale. And I can guarantee you as we approach the holiday season, it is going to go back down again. Now, the Amazon price that I have here with the link, um, I do not think comes with the keyboard or mouse. It is $169.99. And there are other links on there on Amazon. So once you click on there on the link also, just do a quick search on there and you might come up with something new because the prices on these type of items change on a daily basis. Now, I went ahead and up graded this unit just just to give you a little bit of heads up here and I there are two ways to upgrade it number one is you can replace the um, form factor hard drive that's in there now which is a m.2 little guy this is the one I had pulled out and replaced with a larger one and the reason why I did that is because out of the box the unit ended up only having 15.8 gigs left so I wanted to increase that so I took the 32 gig hard drive out and I replaced it with a 128 gig hard drive. I also replaced the RAM. It came with two gigs. I went ahead and upgraded. By the way, there's the form factor. It's like a uh, um, laptop style uh, DDR3L, the low voltage style type of RAM. All the specs, by the way, are, are below in the description box. Um, which I'll get to also here in a second. By the way, I also put the link to the solid state drive that I installed in here, and it cost $52.49 on Amazon. It's a 128 gig, gigabyte uh, M.2 style drive made by my digital. I also replaced the RAM with 4 gigs of RAM by Kingston, also on Amazon, for $20.99. I provide the link to that, so if you're interested in it. Just want to give you a little roundabout here. Here's your front. You get a button. There's also a light on here, which is a, a I think a hard drive activity light. But the power button also lights up there, let you know it's on. On one side here, you have a USB 3 and a USB 2. You get a uh, Kingston, King Kennison, whatever uh, lock if you want to secure it with a cable or whatever. I don't know one person that uses that. Uh, here is your uh, power plug right there. You get your HDMI, um, I'm sorry, you got your HDMI and you got your display ports for your two video outs. You get two more USB 2s. You have an Ethernet. Um, this one was hard to find. Uh, I couldn't find anything on the speed of the Ethernet port that's in here. It is a gigabit. I uh, had to check that out. And you have a headphone jack. And that headphone jack is multifunctional. When you plug it in, it'll prompt you and ask you what it is because you can put a mic in there or whatever. On um, here, you have a 3M1 uh, card reader. So your SSDs or MCCs or MMCs, whatever. Those type of cards you could put in there. And uh, there's your bottom. There's your four screws, which opens up the case right underneath the little rubber feet. 
and there's the top with the Dell logo. By the way, Dell's private company now. It was publicly traded. It went to total crap. Michael Dell didn't like his name being uh, shredded up, <laughs> so he bought the company back. And I think the quality in this unit might show that things are improving at Dell. This particular unit came with Windows 8.1. However, there are some that are being, that are being sold right out the bat right out the door with Windows 10. I upgraded, the upgrade is free um, for now. Processors this is an Intel um, J19 Bay Trail style processor got released in October 2013 so it is a little bit uh, old, long in the tooth kind of thing. It operates up to 2.58 gigahertz. It is a quad core processor. Again, RAM, it came with 2 gigs. Hard drive, it came with 32 gigs. Um, video is integrated Intel HD graphics that are integrated into the processor. We'll see how well that performs with video. Gigabit Ethernet. Um, wireless. This thing is 802.11ac, so it supports N also and B. It's all back, you know, G. It goes all the way back and it supports all the way up to AC. Also has built-in Bluetooth. Again, all the specs are below. Last thing, because someone had asked me um, at work, here is the power brick. I like it that it's not the plug. It's in the middle, like uh, laptops usually are right there. And it uses uh, 45 watts, 19.5 volts, 2.31 amps. So uh, pretty good. The processor, you know, it uses 10 watts itself, so it's... Uh, not the most efficient Bay Trail processor out there, like the, some of the brand new ones, but it is pretty damn good. So let's go ahead and plug this in and see how fast it comes up. Here it is. I'm going to go ahead and hit the power button right there on the front. And you can see for yourself how long it takes to come up. It comes up at the same speed as it did um, when it was brand new, even though I made the changes. The changes that I made did not change the speed of the system because the RAM was the same speed and the solid state drive I put in the speed was pretty comparable to what was already in there so benchmarks stayed pretty much the same I did a benchmark early on when I first took this out of the box when it still had Windows 8.1 now of course I upgraded to Windows 10 and um, um, it had out of the box a, a Nova Bench because that's a free benchmark that I was able just to download. It got 317. I'll go ahead and run it right now so you can see what it benchmarks now. Go ahead and start that up. And we'll go ahead and hit the start tests. And we'll go. By the way, these speakers did not come with it. The the monitor did not come with this. The the camera did not come with this. It was the unit, the keyboard, the mouse. So we'll go ahead and let that run. You um, now the, the the speed, the result of this is basically comparable to a low end i3, or or maybe about twenty to twenty five percent less than a a mid to low end i3 Intel processor. I would say it's pretty comparable to a mid-range uh, old dual-core processor as far as speed is concerned. Uh, you can see it's doing its video test there right now. Go ahead and let that finish up while my dog grumbles. <laughs> but um, I think I went over everything on my notes that I wanted to cover. Again, everything is in the description box below and also all the links to all the upgrades that I'll be showing here shortly. So, it's still reading a benchmark of 317, which is what it was out of the box. So nothing really has changed. So you saw how fast it booted up. It still boots up pretty much the same speed. After I did the upgrade, all I did was I gave myself more room. So now, um, if I open up my hard drive, after upgrading, I have 93 gigs free. Instead of when it was new, I only had... 15.8 gigs free and I have now 4 gigs of RAM you know that that makes a minimal amount of difference unless you start multitasking and starting a lot of apps uh, out of the box I probably wouldn't run more than one and two apps don't even think about gaming with 4 gigs probably low end games uh, maybe open up two or three apps at the most but you, it's not really a unit that you, you, you know it is what it is it's a value price computer here at a very good price Alright, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is start up 
um, my browser and I want to run a video here so you can sort of see how that is we'll go ahead and go to youtube.com and we're going to go to my channel because of copyright things I don't want to um, get in trouble putting somebody else's stuff on here and there we go and I'm going to go ahead and click on my last video and then I'll, I'll go ahead and go full screen so you can sort of see how that looks alright Let's go ahead and go full screen. I'll go ahead and turn up the sound a little bit. Gearbest sent me this for review, so thank you very much, Gearbest. If you are interested in purchasing this knife during any time of the review, in the description box below is a link for your convenience, and it can be had. Okay, so you can see that it, it does video quite fine. I also tested out Netflix. It runs fine. Um, when it first starts, when the video just very first begins, the first like split second, it might chop once or twice, and then everything smooths out and runs fine. The last thing I want to do before we go ahead and go to the upgrades is that even though I upgraded it with a similar M.2 style little hard drive like this, you can also squeeze in a two and a half inch drive. There is space there. They have a slot to put a regular, so you could, you could put a big solid state two and a half inch type of drive in there, which really would improve the speed um, of this machine. But you have to use a special ribbon cable that you have to slightly mod. I went ahead and provided a link in the description box to a website um, called ATX Geek. They have an article. I put a link to it where it's basically a tear down of this machine and they went back and forth on how to upgrade it and everything and they found a ribbon cable that could be utilized so you go ahead and put a regular um, two and a half inch type of you know like a laptop drive and you could put those solid state drives in there and really suit things up really good okay so off to the upgrades So the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is upgrade the RAM. Uh, first th thing you do is just flip the uh, machine over. You'll see four screws where the feet are. You unscrew them. Once you unscrew them, then you've got to go ahead and basically get the top out of the whole thing. So you s turn it upside down, give it a shake, get it out, and then you'll be uh, presented with the memory card right there. I mean, very simple. So you just go ahead and do the little side clips just like you would any other laptop machine or chrome box type of machine and you flip it out it only has one channel one slot there so um, when you look for a replacement you want to go ahead and get it all on one stick not two sticks you're only going to get one stick in there and again this is a four gig stick by Kingston the link is provided in the description box below Next thing we'll do is go ahead and replace the hard drive. Uh, again, another simple task because all you do is remove an additional four screws on the motherboard here, and they sort of have these little metal brackets that are held on by those four screws. So you remove them and the brackets. and then you carefully flip over the one board so you gain access um, to the hard drive. Very simple, but just be careful about the, the wires that connect the two boards. So just look around and make sure you just flip it open carefully. And then you just go ahead and lift and yank 
out the old one and then the other one you just push it in and push it down and you are upgraded that simple so in conclusion I definitely recommend this machine it is a very capable little guy that is surprisingly very upgradable so it's definitely worth two hundred dollars that it normally sells for and again all the links are below check out the description box and maybe maybe even right now as you're watching this the price has dropped or uh, you get a better deal just go ahead and click them and then just do a search around both Amazon and and Best Buy and who knows just uh, be careful because there are different versions of this there's one with the J um, 20 29 process well this comes with the j1800 i think there's a j1900 or the j20 something hundred they got ones with better processors really doesn't make an enormous amount of difference and i don't know if it's really worth the price they also have units where or box boxes that just have the computer they have ones where the keyboard and mouse are wired and then of course they have the one with the wireless setup so make sure you read the descriptions very carefully online so you know exactly which one you're buying so, but um, the one that was on sale, Best Buy, uh, pretty, pretty good deal. Plus, you're getting Windows 10. If you were to go out and just buy Windows 10, it would cost you $100. And, uh, oh, by the way, not too much bloatware on here. There was like a 30-day trial of McAfee and a virus on there. And there was no um, Office stuff pre-installed, which is a good thing because it doesn't come with very much space. But if you do everything in the cloud, it should be fine. If you do want to install full Office or other things, definitely do the hard drive upgrade very simple I hope this video can help those people out and just want to go ahead and do that alright well thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Procession channel I really do appreciate every friend viewer subscriber and especially you and I hope you have a great day take care bye